name the box called out. This is just a between numbers.
Now I know it looks kind of long as it was like doing a particular part of it, but it's kind of like if I were um, to give you step by step directions about how to turn, excuse me, how to turn your how to turn your computer on or how to turn your car stuff on. It seems much longer stuff, but once you actually start doing it, it's not going to be as long as uh, um, you don't even notice you have to do those individual steps in the first place. We're going to try to do the process to your name mark. Yes. Okay, for, um, we'll try to follow my rules. First, we'll relax. We're going to identify the longest card in chain. So, maybe we'll do our count and try to find a number. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The longest number you're going to be five. There's two ways in which you form five. Jim, I would say if you got a, if you got a way, the two way point five, which one's a straight chain way and one's like a bent one, I would go with a straight one first. The most easy to follow is to a straight one. So the first thing we do is find our longest carpet chain. In this case, it would be five cards. You're going to name the molecule according to organic prefixes and suffixes. What name goes with five? Pent. What type of carbon bonds do we have? Single pentane. It turns out the little lowest carbon chain is referred to what is called our parent name, our base name. Next, we're going to box all non hydrogen non atoms that are not part of the lowest carbon chain. So basically, there are going to be three atoms not part of the lowest carbon chain. We're going to go box those. Box, box, box. We're going to name the atoms, the carbon atoms in the box according to the organic prefix. How many carbons in this first box? What name do you give it to one? Met. Remember for branches, we're going to put the YL ending. This will be methyl. Here we have methyl. And here we have methyl. Okay, we just know how many, we're doing just knowing how many atoms are inside that box. Inside the box there's one atom. The name for, for one is met. And you put the YL system substituent or box or branch group. Next, you want to number your substituents according to the longest <coughs> carbon chain in the direction to give the, the um, branches the lowest number combination. Now, here's our longest carbon chain. We can do it from left to right or right to left. Generally, what I do, because most times you will you read or write left to right, so we start counting left to right. If I count from left to right, I got a one, two, three, four, five. I have a branch attached to carbon number three and a branch attached to carbon number four. On carbon number three, I have a methyl, and also on carbon number three, I have a methyl. You would name this as three, comma, three, comma, four. Since there are four boxes, each box must have its own number. So for the first box, there's the number three. For the second box, is also on carbon number three. And the third box, we're saying it's on carbon number four. Everybody follow still good? So I kind of wrote mine a little bit before, so that would be two and three. Oh, we're going to stick with the same for everybody by the time we finish. Now, notice for here, I said there's two ways to actually number the longest carbon chain. You know, from left to right or right to left. There's no rule to say you got to do from left to right all the time. Now, in somebody else's drawing, you have to check both ways. Now, later on, we're going to actually draw it ourselves. We determine which side we're going to draw the molecule on. Now, here I am going from left to right. I came with a combination of three, three, four. But equally, I can number it from right to left. 
If I go from right to left, I got a one, two, three, four, five. In the circle one, I have a carbon or a carbon number, I have a, a branch of carbon number two, a branch of carbon number three, and a branch of carbon number three. These are the circle ones. Now here you want to number your molecule in direct to give you the lowest number combination. If that was money, $334 versus $233. Which one is the lowest amount? 233. So we're going to end up naming the molecule according to the lowest number combination, which is a 233. Mm -hmm. Next to the model, next to the number uh, for the first we got a 2 for this methyl a three for that methyl, and a three for the other methyl. <laughs> Since all of my methyls, <clears throat> this one after I work on the substituent first, and you got the parent name, pentane. Now, do you have two or more of the same substituents? Notice all of our, all of our, all of our substituents or box groups are methyls. So we have three of the same type groups. We're going to put a prefix in front of that name. Since we have three, we're going to put what in front of the name? Try. And I forgot the numbers, we have a two, three, three. For each group, when we put the the names, we actually want to put a number beside each carbon atom of a branch of stuff on. We have a branch of carbon number two, a branch of carbon number three, and another branch of carbon number three. Now when you're writing, you'll put a comma between numbers and a dash between numbers and letters. What's this for then? Oh, we, we would do more than just one of them, though. So we'll see if we do more than one. Because the whole, if he's trying to trip, I don't know what he's doing there. He kind of got me on that one. So we're going to do more than one. Give you a chance to see what you come with for the answer for the one on the board. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get an answer.
Now, so again, anybody take, uh, uh, refer back to step number two in that note. Go to step number two and refer to that note. And we know the step number two. Doesn't have to be what? Take the note. I don't see exactly what you're going to do for the part of it. We're going to show you in a second about the thing about the note. Because it's too bond right here, so isn't this, okay, so isn't this right here supposed to be, since there's two bonds here. You, you don't break it apart, you put it in one whole unit. It wouldn't be two ones, it would just be two. So it's not ethyl, it's methyl? Ethyl would be two. It won't be like methyl, methyl. I mean, I know that, but that's two. Oh, see, two. if you just, well, your box is not like two. Because of this is not a, this is not a, the two unit together is ethyl, not one, not a methyl and an ethyl. No, for this single, okay, you tell me how it's supposed So you would circle the whole unit, right? If that was the answer. So all that then this whole be unit would be together. ethyl. Yes, it would be boxed together. Okay, yeah. got it. Two, 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 two. I got it. I can here, down from over here. Yeah, it was a lot of 
chain does not have to be in a straight line. I know a lot of individuals got this started with something like one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Except we move this part right here, one of the ends. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six is going to be greater than five. So again, no, it's going to have to be the longest carbon chain. This is my longest chain. <laughs> My longest chain is six. What name goes for six? Eight. Single bond, double bond, triple bond, single bond, hexane. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to box any carbon atoms not part of the longest carbon chain. So we're going to box this carbon atom and box this carbon atom. Because there's one carbon atom you can call those methyls. This is methyl. Here is methyl. Now we're going to name our long carbon chain in a direction that gives my branches the lowest number combination. So I got my longest chain, I got two ends I can know from, going from left to right. I'll be one, two, three, four, five. Six. I have a branch of carbon number three and a branch of carbon number four. Going from left to right. Equally, I can count from right to left. I gotta do both. I gotta do both both ways to check to make sure we're in the lowest combination. I'm gonna do a little circle one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here in circle, I have a three, four circle combination. Both of those combinations give you the exact same base, no matter which one you're going to end up going with. So you have a name of the molecule being three, comma, four. Do we have two or more of the same group? Yes. Yes. But we can't be like, we have like an ethyl and a methyl, ethyl and methyl, not the same group. You gotta be like both been methyl and both been ethyl chloride in the same group. So we have three, four, di, methyl, hexane. Let, for example, if I had two groups. Oh. See, the effort, effort, and effort, because all the groups are gathered the same type. Mm -hmm. But if I had a two groups, which I had like a methyl and an ethyl. If I had a methyl group and an ethyl group. Group. Those for here, I don't have two of the same groups. Now I will put now a fact of method and ethyl, which one goes first? Which order goes first and one after the order? E comes before M. So I'll write my ethyl first, then my methyl. So it'll be a three ethyl, two methyl.
because there's two different groups, make sure that you'll put the groups in, in order according to alphabetical order. Type ones, all be the same types. So next, we'll find my longest carbon chain. What we call, I'm gonna find my uh, number combination. Generally, I, I generally try to do like a group from left to right first and right to left, but you can always do it either way you want to. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. I have a branch of carbon number three, another branch of carbon number three, a branch of carbon number four, a branch of carbon number five, and a branch of carbon number five. Since I have five branches, I need to have five numbers. Every branch must have its own number. This is my number combination when I went from left to right. Now I'm going to go from right to left. I'm going to use a circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got a, um, a three, three, four, five, five. Actually, they're tied. And it turns out there's actually a rule to determine which one is actually the correct rock to go. Even though it seems tied, there's actually a tie break between the two of them. I'm not going to try to get into a tie break of one to one. But if you were to do the tie break of one, you would actually number it from left to right because the ether would then, because even though like a tie one, E would end up beating out M as far as the ether would work that goes. But again, I'm not trying to, I'm, well, when they examine some of them, I'm not trying to nip them down here about their little trigger, top, trigger part to the numbers. So I would try to actually pre-think it out, make sure we get a tie in the molecule in the first place. Or if I do have a part to put an extra carbon there to make sure it won't be a tie going both ways. But since they're uh, both ways, the same way we just go ahead and use the, uh, we use the left to right direction. So we call this being three methyl, three ethyl, four ethyl, five methyl, and five methyl. Do we have two or more of the same types? Yes. We have uh, methyls. How many methyls do we have? Three. Three. So we have three. We got trimethyl. And we'll put the nose of all three methyls uh, to next to each other. So we have a three comma five comma five. Trimethyl. Next we'll look at our ethyl groups. We have two ethyls, so we have diethyl. Diethyl. The number for diethyl is a three comma four. Now we have methyl, we have ethyl. Which one goes first? The ethyl. The ethyl. Don't you, you don't have to take a look at what triad for the name is E versus L. So you put the E first. Well, also then, uh, tomorrow we'll also talk, start talking about the cyclic molecules. <laughs> yeah.